Hello everyone. Now this is one live case study from one dolphin user in India. Now we can see that its model number is ST one five zero zero LM zero twelve. This is one firmware locked hard drive, and to fix the firmware failure, and we need to back up the ROM, generate unlock ROM. Here we can back up the ROM here, and here we can generate this unlock ROM. In order to save the time in this video, so we have already done these steps. And after that, we can back up the important SYS files. And in this log window, we can find out the important SYS files have been backed up. And after that, we can go to the COM terminal and make sure we have entered F3T prompt and the firmware error has been unlocked successfully. Now we can try to check the angelist entries. We can find out there are 12 entries. Now let's try to check the data error. We can see it's all blocked, so all red blocks. This means the data error is locked. So for this kind of failure, we need to clear the G list. And we confirm the entries again. And then we regenerate the translator. Now we just need to wait until the translator regeneration completes.
Now we can see after the translator regeneration, we need to check the injured entries again. And we can see that the entries amount has changed. Now we can try to check the data error and confirm. Now, the data error is accessible in the front part of the LBA error. So we check the ending part of the data error and see if the ending part of data error is accessible or not. So we can try to enter 28. And it has the same names uh, of the max LBA. Then we try to clear the scan record, click OK, and then we try to check. Now we can see the ending part of LBA are not accessible. This means uh, the drive has the sector access problem. So we need to stop and then we close this logic scan window and we go back to this interface and we try to write as well as files we try to write the 35 ATM mode we try to write in ATM mode as well as and click OK. Now we check the log. We can see it's right success. And then we go to SCOM terminal and enter the F3T prompt and check the NGList entries. So this means it's not written successfully in this way so we can try to write again and see Now we try to write the SYS file in another way. SYS 35 Load the original entry list. Copy zero uh, thirty five. Right now, now let's check the injured list again. Wait for zero. Okay, now this has the same uh, amount of entries in the injured list. Now we try to clear the V4 and regenerate the translator again.
Now we just need to wait a little bit. Because it's a sector access problem, so we need to use this way to make sure the original engine list is written successfully to the pension drive. And then we clear the journalist and regenerate the translator again. Now we can see that the transmitter regeneration has completed and we check the engine list again. Okay, now we can go to check the ending part of the data arrow. Now we can see that the ending part of data arrow is also accessible. That means all the lost data has been recovered successfully. Now we can open uh, DFL DDP data recovery program to extract the lost data. Now this is remote uh, for the Indian client. We try to open the DDP data recovery program and let's see if we can see the lost data. New project and Task parse. We select a new parse and uh, use uh, parse. So we need to check. We need to use the E drive DFL task and this one and uh, we. Uh, one five zero zero LM save next finish now we can see that this is a lost partition and then we simply click the root and then we can find out all the lost 
data has been recovered successfully. So users just simply click, uh, for example, this one, save it, right click and then save file or select all the wanted files and recover. It's very easy now. Thank you for watching this video.